Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to create some of the effects from Sofago's most recent music video. He dropped a music video called Don't Hold the Fire and he had these really cool stutter effects as well as this animated freeze frame effect that I'm going to be showing you guys how to create. So here in After Effects, in order to show you guys these effects, I'll be using these clips from Draft Day's music video. Starting off with the first effect, we're going to be creating that black and white stutter effect where we have three of our subjects here on the left and then we're going to have a masked out stutter effect on the right side as you guys can see from these three clips they're all from the same clip it's important to have a tripod shot in order to create this effect all three of these layers are from the same shot in the same environment and what I did was create two cuts within the same clip so to get started we're going to first rotoscope our subject double click the layer and then grab the roto brush tool in order to make your brush bigger or smaller you can hold the control button left click and then just drag your mouse to make it bigger or smaller if you want to get rid of any unwanted parts you can hold the alt button left click and then just drag over your subject i'm going to now rotoscope my subject after rotoscoping your subject you want to then click the freeze button in order to lock in your rotoscope go back into the composition i'm going to adjust the feather as well as the shift edge so i'll increase the feather to nine and i'll decrease the shift edge to around like negative 40. We're going to now create that stutter effect. In order to create that effect, click your layer, right click it, go to time, and then make sure to click enable time remapping. What we're going to do is just keyframe the first frame and go forward 10 frames because I want the first 10 frames of this layer to just play normally. And then after the 10th frame, we're going to have that stutter effect. So keyframe it at the 10th frame and then go forward two frames. If you want your stutter effect to be faster, you can just go forward one frame, but I like the way it looks if I go forward two frames. Keyframe that go forward another two frames grab both of these keyframes click ctrl c and then click that layer click ctrl v in order to copy and paste those keyframes and i'm just going to do that until i reach the end of this layer by doing that you guys will notice that the stutter effect looks weird because we rotoscoped our subject and the rotoscope isn't following our stutter effect so in order to fix that click your layer go to the 10th frame mark and then click Control shift d in order to cut your layer grab your roto brush tool double click that layer again and then we're going to click the freeze button in order to unfreeze the rotoscope and after clicking the freeze button again our rotoscope is going to actually track onto our stutter effect just go through your layer and make sure that your rotoscope is following the stutter effect and then click the freeze button again go back into the composition and now when we play this the rotoscope stutter effect looks completely normal the next thing we're going to do is grab these two layers pre-compose them and I'll just name that to draft we're going to then duplicate this layer by clicking Control D, go forward 10 frames, drag this second layer forward 10 frames. And the reason why we're doing that is because I want to offset these layers and just have them all appear at separate times rather than having all of them appear at the same time. Open up the position for both of these layers and I'm just going to drag this one back like that. Drag this forward a little, grab this third layer and bring it back so that it's 10 frames apart from the second layer. And for this third layer, we're also going to rotoscope our subject. After rotoscoping your subject make sure to adjust the feather as well as the shift edge just so that we have smoother edges for our subject I'm going to then grab this layer, pre-compose it as well and make sure to have it at the move all attributes into the new composition we're going to move the position of this layer as well so I'll just move that to the right grab all three of these pre-composed layers and then we're going to pre-compose it again for this third layer, I'm not going to create the stutter effect for that layer because I only want the stutter effect to happen on the first two layers. And then for the third clip, we're just going to have that one playing like a normal video. Grab all three of these pre-composed layers and then we're going to pre-compose it. For this final layer, we're also going to create a stutter effect for it as well. And once we do create the stutter effect, we're going to mask out a part of the video just so that we can see our other layers as well. For this layer, make sure to right click the layer, go to time and then enable time remapping. And we're pretty much just going to do the same thing. Keyframe the first frame, go forward two frames, keyframe it again, and then just copy and paste these two keyframes until you reach the end of the layer. Grab the rectangle tool so that we can mask out our subject. I'll have mine masked out like that and then I'm going to move the position 
so that we can see our other layers as well. I'm also going to cut this timeline so that it's just one second long, move this position a little more towards the right, and also change the positioning of the mask. And I'm only going to move the two points on the left of this mask. So in order to do that, just click the pen tool and then click your layer, grab this point, and then hold the shift button, grab the other point, move it a little more towards the right. I have it like that. And then also just move the position of these layers as well. Move it a little more towards the left. Now all of these layers are playing at the same time. Time. And just like the Sofago music video, we're going to create that black and white effect. So let's create a new solid layer. Make sure the solid layer is white. Bring that towards the bottom. And I'll just rename that to BG for background. We're going to add a tint effect to this pre-composed layer. For the next effect, we're going to add a curves. For this effect, we're going to be raising the highlights, midtones, as well as the shadows. So I'll just create a point for all three of those and then bring up the highlights just by a little. And I'm going to really just bring up the midtones. Also just increase the shadows just by a little. Now, as you guys can see, it just brings out the values of our subject. Grab both of these effects, click Control C, and then copy and paste it to this masked out layer. Now, when I play this, this is what we have for the final effect. We have the three rotoscope layers here on the left, and then we have the masked out stutter effect here on the right. Moving on to the second effect, this one is also going to be a stutter effect, but this time we're going to include the entire layer with the background. So the first thing we're going to do is grab your layer, and then I'm going to mask out our subject using the pen tool. It doesn't have to be a perfect mask. I'm just going to mask mine like this because this is a tripod shot and we don't have any camera movements. And then click that layer, right click, go to time, enable time remapping and just like the effect from before you want to go forward two frames and just keyframe it copy and paste those keyframes until you reach the end of the layer after doing that grab this layer duplicate it and for the bottom layer we're going to get rid of the mask effect and now when i play this we have our stutter effect with the entire layer, including the background. Moving on to the third and final effect, we're going to be creating this freeze frame animated effect, just like the one in Sofago's music video. In order to create this effect, make sure to have a clip where we have a good shot of our subject. So in my case, I really like the way the first frame of this layer looks. Once you find a good shot of your subject, go to that frame and then right click your layer, go to time and click freeze frame. And now we have a still image of that first frame of this layer. The next thing we're going to do is grab our pen tool and mask out our subject. After masking out your subject, click that layer, click M twice in order to open up the mask. And I'm just going to increase the mask feather by two and then decrease the mask expansion by negative two. For this effect, we're also going to have it black and white. So we're going to create a new solid. Make sure the color of the solid layer is white and just drag it underneath. Rename that to background. For the masked out layer, we're going to add a tint effect and then we're going to add a levels. I want this layer to be darker. So I'm going to increase the input black to like 108 and then increase the input white white just by a little to 270. Now in order to actually animate this freeze frame layer, we're going to have it animate on a path. And in order to create that path, we're going to use the pen tool. So make sure you have no layers selected. And I'm just going to turn this layer off for now. Click a point on the left side of your composition. Make sure you have no fill and no stroke. After creating the first point, we're going to then create the second point. So just click and then drag. We're going to create a curvy shape. And if you need to adjust the positioning of your points, you can just click it and then drag. You can also click these points and drag it so that we have a smoother curve. Click that shape layer and then open up the that shape layer, open up the contents, go to shape and then click the path. Open up the position of this freeze frame layer, click the path of the shape layer, click control C and then paste it to the position of this freeze frame layer. Click control V to the position of this freeze frame layer. By doing that, it creates keyframes for the position of this freeze frame layer. And it also really extends the keyframes for this layer for some reason. I don't know why it does that. So in order to fix that, just go to the composition settings and then increase this duration to like two seconds. Make sure to click that layer and then grab all these keyframes. Just drag it back so that it actually fits into the layer. And I'm going to have all these keyframes five frames apart. So just go forward every five frames and make sure to have those keyframes on the right position. And then cut this timeline to the way we had it before. And now when I play this, this is what we have for the effects so far. If you feel like your curve still doesn't look that good, you can always just adjust it. 
I'm going to increase the scale so that we don't see the bottom part of this layer. Turn on the motion blur and we can also just turn off the shape layer. We're going to then pre-compose this freeze frame layer. For this layer, we're going to add an echo effect. Change the echo time to negative 0.015. Increase the number of echoes to 6 and we're going to change the echo operator to composite and back or you can change it to whatever look that you're going for. In my case, I'm just going to select composite and back. Now when I play this, this is what we have for our final effect and those are three effects from Sofago's music video. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.